how much living space did I have here? A decent bit. I'm thinking I might turn one of these empty rooms into another workshop. Just to help mitigate some of our massive costs and also speed up manufacturing because when it comes time to actually make something it does take a little while i'm thinking making heavy armors if we ever were to make a heavy weapon platform if we were to ever make a ship how long would it be taking when it comes time to be making heavier laser weapons and such like i, I imagine a lot of the stuff's going to be taking quite some time to get done so maybe having a third workshop wouldn't be a bad idea, and currently I don't know what else to put here. Hyperwave decoder, whenever that gets done, one day maybe. That's, uh, I don't know, maybe t maybe tomorrow or something. I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> or tomorrow we started, so I'm not, I'm not really sure when, when that gets done officially. Um, hard to know, hard to say. Something I'm thinking about, though, but that can probably go into one of the empty rooms. I'm assuming it's still just a one-room building, not a big two-by-two. Two. If it is two-by-two, two, then we'll throw it in the second base. That's fine at the first base, then we just have more empty rooms for whatever. We also need containment, I suppose, whenever that becomes a thing. Um, Illyrium 115. This element has the unusual property of generating antimatter power when bombarded with certain particles. This creates gravity waves and other forms of energy. It is not naturally found in our solar system and cannot be reproduced. Ugh, okay. Power- powered melee weapons. That's not at all what I would have anticipated from that. Ah, alien containment is there though. Well, okay. I'll go for that. Straight away. Data capsules? Sorry. Yeah, alien entertainment. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> the most likely function of these screens is recreational. The psionic circuitry simulates various centers of the brain, effect is similar to hallucinogenic drugs. This is the only evidence that aliens have any cultural or recreational pastimes. Can now research alien containment. And also salvage alien entertainment, which I'll probably need to be doing to then create whatever is required for that. For the containment itself. Uh salvage. Entertainment. Psionic feedback device. Well, let's wait on that. Let's wait and see what we actually need. I don't wanna... I don't wanna goof anything, because this entertainment was kinda rough to get. And there's the two more empty rooms, so I, I don't know what to put here now. I mean, alien containment in one of these, surely. Maybe over here next to where we sleep. And then, uh... Hyperwave decoder? Probably another workshop or something, I don't, I don't know. And then there's still the question of if I even keep this hangar. I might not. Missile defense system at the intercept base. So they are somewhat prepared to handle small attacking craft to some extent. When the barracks is done, they'll actually have some storage space. We can get some soldiers in there. I'm not sure how to handle soldier naming for that. I think I probably don't bother with it because you're likely going to be sitting here and doing absolutely nothing the entire campaign and it'd hate for a name to be tied up to that. So I'll probably leave them unnamed. And then a radar system so that it actually help spot to some extent down south. Like, it's, it's still handy if there's a UFO heading down this way, we can just yeah and get it with like a proper interception craft that's actually got some speed to it as well. Like, ooh, you're very idle. Uh, decoder. Oops. Good thing I usually idle on five minutes, just in case I make an oopsie like that. I don't just, like, pound out hours or days. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Hyperwave decoder shouldn't be too, too long. Then we can see about the power frame, which... Sounds... Sounds good. That sounds like something I'd probably want. It sounds like maybe a cool armor. And there's the radar system. So then beyond that, barracks just two more days. I I can't even yeah, I can't even get them ready to arrive. 
Beyond that, there's not a whole lot that I'd want to be doing. Um, this, this missile defense system is in a bit of the wrong spot. I, I made that mistake. That's, that's on me. <laughs> mm. Mm. Maybe we just get more security stations and some brave soul's gonna have to march through and, uh, <laughs> weed them out. I don't think this place will be attacked. They wouldn't attack it, right? No. Maybe. The interceptor itself. 350 grand. How much faster are you compared to Sky Raider? 1800 up from 1250. Quite a lot. Right. And, and you've got the heavier mounting pylons. Four small slots, two medium slots. You come with mitigation and avoidance. You have more mitigation, but less avoidance. Like, it's just generally, I think the interceptor is just the way to go. I'll pick one up. Wait, do I... Does the axle slip give me, like, a little bit of storage? Okay, something gives me a little bit of storage here. I'm gonna say it's the axle slip. does give you a little bit. I'm still gonna wait for the barracks, though, before I really do too much. And apparently fit 201 base defense missiles. Six million bucks worth. I don't think those will all fit. I don't know how much base they take up, so I'm going to wait for the barracks to be done so I actually have some proper storage. <laughs> I don't trust it. I can pick up the interceptor, though. That I can do. Ah, it's done. We'll pick up weapons and... Uh, actually, probably craft some parts for it, because I learned how to make the Tier 2 stuff. Tier 2 airframe. What do I want? What can I have, actually? Shrike. Or Pulse Cannon. Pulse Cannon was 45-25 kilometer range, though. Whereas Shrike... That's uh, small Shrike, though. Something else for medium, I guess, Avalanche, but just the three rounds. Trike was 670 damage. 55 kilometer range, 37 on the Shrike. Yeah, I, I guess Shrike, but like... We got There's gotta be like another research we're missing for something else. And then... Anti-alloy aircraft hulls. Fuel tanks and engines. Alloy engines. Alloy airframe is damage capacity and avoidance. We're just plating. We'll wait a minute and see. We'll wait and see. See what my options are. There's the barracks. That's given me a little more storage space. Not a lot, but a little bit. So I can pick up five people. They can also get training. And then... The missiles, I don't know, 20? 10? They're quite expensive. I'll pick up 10. Yeah, just five soldiers, 10 missiles, and we'll see what I can manufacture when more stuff arrives. A small, very low heading northeast. That is a... just a square. That is not an attack craft if it's a square. Mammoth, I believe, is already set up and ready to go. So let's just head over for it. Ta-da. I greatly appreciate that this craft with zero people doesn't even ask if they should engage. It just knows, like, you're not going to want to engage with an empty craft. I don't know how long that's been the case. Alright, well, hey, a landed UFO and uh, quite some rookies to get some experience with as well. I'm assuming this is probably going to be floaters of some form. Attack turtle and thunder as grenade launchers. Yeah, sure. Wow, these loadouts are, like, completely not working. <laughs> Save that. I don't know if I even bothered updating it. Like, ugh. <laughs> Just, uh. Yeah, that's all fine. 
that's all okay, and as far as weight and capacity goes, looking good. Alright. What do we got? Not smoke grenades, that's, that's for sure. Ah, uh, here's one. <laughs> Throw it out, and then... Stack? Eh, Stack don't have one. Luke is that? Luke is that's got one. Let's bonk it off the side of the Elphite's head, that's fine. <laughs> now this was a small... I believe, and we got a kind of favorable position as well. I don't mind that. We'll get Attack Turtle and Thunder set up as like mortars, kinda. We'll get Stack to rush this door, use it as a bit of cover. Neophyte, you're in as well. Ove just around the corner. Money bottoms to hide behind the wheel well. I do like this position. This is okay, and the ship's not right on top of us. That building is a little bit scary. Multiple stories, windows and such. I've had bad experiences with similar buildings. Terror from the deep! That port attack with that, like, three-level building where the top floor is just windows and boxes everywhere. Man. I do love Terror from the Deep maps. I like them a lot. I'm kind of waiting for a mod pack that, like, uh, utilizes both games. Be very nice. I would like it. I would endorse that. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, double! Oh, God. It's, uh... Armored. Armored man's snapshot in the back with a laser rifle, proven to be quite effective previously, and he can still get into cover afterwards. Blam. Shoulder. Well done. Okay. Not the goobers I was expecting. Ho oh, hum. Uh, building wise, there's not a whole lot blocking our our view, so I feel like the two of you could do quite okay. Hanging out back here, your flank is secure. You're pretty safe back there. I just noted we are taking a little bit of suffocation damage from the smoke. You will eventually pass out from that. It'll be a long time though. The smoke will probably dissipate by the time it becomes an issue proper. And I don't think, I don't think this, uh, the consciousness, whatever, I don't think that, uh, actually affects anything if it's a bit low. Thirteen percent. Forty-one percent. It's a hit. It, it really sails oddly. It, it looked like it just ripped right through the building, but I think that was maybe some of the shadow. And money bottoms to finish him off. Sorry, shotguns. Don't quite trust. I'm surprised we didn't see him when we... Just there, our, our vision and smoke is... Subpar. Alright, sort of changes things that we're fighting those guys. I think we have to, um... We have to kind of pick our poison here a little bit, I think, where do we want to handle floaters easily with kinetic weaponry, or do we, do we want to handle these guys easily with laser weapons? Because laser against floater wasn't, wasn't really a super duper great thing peek around a little bit outside the smoke so we can see a bit better. Um, Twilight Duck aim shot, 68%. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's even alloy shells. All right, well, a rumph. <laughs> 
<laughs> Auto fire with Luke is that? Uh, missed both shots. That's okay. That's fine. You hit him when you're ready. That's a direct hit. I am a little bit nervous about all of that over there, so I'm gonna... Gonna huck a smoke over. Act as a bit of a wall. Okay, their turn was over basically immediately. I think whatever we've got left... I think it's camping. Just to be safe, though. It's probably just sitting right inside the ship. I forgot to move money bottoms back. Into the smoke with you. Well, it's a shame that we got these cool alloy shells, but can't actually bring down... Well, it'd be good against floaters, I suppose, if we had, like, a floater UFO to uh, infiltrate. I guess that'd be okay. Move you guys up a little, too. You guys don't volley these shots as much as I expect you to. I, I think you might be volleying it just high enough to clear the building. No higher. Which, good on you for the quick maths. I like that in an XCOM soldier who can just, you know, kind of calculate that in their head real quick. Big fan of that. Whoosh. Nice. Well done. A little more experience for him. So, four kills, four corpses, 12 artifacts, power source, navigation, 28, uh, 23 alien alloys, a couple of fuel pods, plasma emitter, plasma array, medium scout, the Illyrium. I mean, it was a landed UFO, so all of that stuff is uh, just right in. And fire accuracy, kind of, sort of, whatever. It looks like the grenade launcher does also give firing accuracy, not just throwing. I know sometimes the projectile, like, volley weapons can sometimes just be a throwing weapon, kind of, sort of. Not, nothing for thunder, unfortunately. Alright. Take what I can get. Cool, cool. And we're short an explosive grenade round. I'll buy 11 more. Perfect. Sergeant Bonnie Bottoms, Captain Ezra Die, Colonel Leva, Sergeant Banshee, Sergeant Mr. D, and Captain Rogue. Wow. Those are some titles. A nice little, uh, nice little mission. They're 200 points to start me off. Very small, very low, heading northwest. You're, you're probably a fighting craft. You're a little plus. Never mind. Just a little, a little proby boy. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Just sit down! <laughs> Alright. Got him. I guess he can investigate that as well. How much longer on research do we think? Just good. Okay. Just good. So still some days. It's not like it's worth waiting for this thing to, uh... To finish up and then do the very small to see if we can... Just kidnap whatever's in there. Okay. Since that's the edge... I won't put one on the ship itself. I heard him open the door. I heard it. Take out those sandbags. I think it's a, uh, supposed to be a stone fence, but it really just looks like sandbags to me. I don't know why this farm has sandbags everywhere. I, it's not for me to know. It, that's on a need to know basis, and I don't need to know. So it's whatever. We're gonna use these sandbags though. Whoever's playing with the doors seems to have stopped. Not 
not sure how much I trust that. Oh god, not enough time minutes. Alright then. Just wait. Ooh. Grenade launcher reaction shot. Well done. Uh. <laughs> Open fire! <laughs> I don't know where he is. I'm ready for him if he decides to show up, though. Whoa. Oh, wait. No, you're somebody else. Help. We didn't get the resupply yet. Money bottoms. It must be. It must be you. 92% chance. Don't even see the guy. Yes. You, you still missed, though. Disappointing. Yeah, okay, that's the sandbags. We, we got those clear. Those are out of here. Okay, uh... <sighs> Resmoke. Does anyone see him? I'm not scared or anything. Who, me? No. Okay, there's, there's that. That's the first one. The second one's just gonna, like, spike a grenade, I think. Jeez. If only there is, like, some device that we could use to track movement or something. Outside of a two-yard range, so not the motion scanner. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. I know the answer already. Not that, though. Jeez. Alright. I don't really trust many bottoms to be so far. Up there. They're visible on the mini map. Botacon active. Oh, he's just there. Attack turtle. Bonk him with the flare. Dunk. Mm, Jason. Looked a little bit like you're shooting attack turtle. Not appreciating that very much. Alright, money bottoms and snapshot. 49 in the back. He's down. Okay. The covert ops. Small power source, emitter, array. Alloys, navigation. Sell some good stuff, even though we shot it down. It was a very small, a very packed. More grenade runs are coming, although I will pick up a few more. They go pretty fast, actually. There's some now. And hey, that is more points. Alien containment is done.
Living aliens require a special habitat to maintain their life systems. Containment facility can keep up to five alien life forms in self-contained units. Fed prepared nutrient solution intravenously and received psionic feedback from an entertainment device installed in the facility. It's a table, uh, some IV, and a TV. And maybe a wall sink as well. Tremendous. Powered melee. Heavy laser weapons. I, I would think that, like, heavy laser weapons might lead to... something for the ships. Maybe the fuel pods as well. Or heavy alien explosives. Now that... That sounds like a ship weapon. We'll go for that. Inefficient alien feeder. Okay, and we can now build alien containment. What does alien containment take to make? Five feeders, five devices. Okay, I thought it'd be something like that. Psionic feedback devices. We have so many of those. We also have a ton of feeders. So go for it. Over here, next to where we sleep. The best spot for it, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Hyperwave Decoder is done as well. Alien comms rely on a super-dimensional wave with travels almost instantaneously. The decoder facility intercepts UFO transmissions out to a range of 2,100 nautical miles and decodes the information. 67% chance to detect an average-sized UFO and will show the type of UFO, alien race, and the type of activity. Now, because it says 67% chance to detect an average-sized UFO, I do wonder if there's also a plus-minus chance based on UFO size. Don't think that's a thing, though. Building more radars incurs a diminishing return on investment. There is no significant benefit to having more than two hyperwave decoders at any base. E. Mm. Is it a hyperwave decoder? Yes. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. But okay. We can now produce tier 3 hyperwave decoder small. That'd be the ship mount. There is a large hyperwave decoder we can get as well. And there's the base defense missiles. Taking up, oh my gosh, like no space at all. How many do I need? Ammo item defense value. I have no idea. I'll, I'll pick up... They're kind of expensive. I'll pick up 10 more. Okay, yeah, that's like nothing at all. And the interceptor will be here in six hours, as well as some new people. So, build facilities then. Large hyperwave decoder. 3,000 nautical miles and decodes the information. 100% chance to detect any size UFO and I'll show the type, race, and type of activity. Well, all right. I mean, it is a mere $8.4 million, so like, geez, it says not to build multiple in any one base, but like, oh, I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, no. That's all right. It's a small thing. But, uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like 67% chance is still pretty good, depending how quickly it rolls, right? Like, don't think I need the large one. The range would be pretty cool, though. Or am I getting another 4 million bucks, though? Yikes. And it could manufacture also hyperwave decoder small craft equipment. Alien long range communication enables us to tap into their sonic network and sense their attributes in much greater detail. 450 mile range radar and 100 detection chance. Wanted radar is only 300 or 525. So 450 is pretty okay. In fact, 
Okay, 1800. So not, not that big, <laughs> but still pretty big. That ain't bad at all. If I were to sell you, 900 grand. And that would leave us blind up here for a while since that is all of our radar up here. I think I just go for a, uh, the standard hyperwave decoder. So 10 computer mod, six feedback, 15 wave decoder. And 10 computer modules. Bang. So like seven, 800 bucks to ship it all over. Eight hours it'll be there and we can start building the small one. Whoop. Research. Um, you were doing heavy alien explosives, huh? How about... Okay, hold on. Work on those. You're going to do the heavy alien explosives because you're much faster at it. And I think we've only wasted like half of a day. I don't, I don't think we wasted much time at all. And there's Interceptor 2. So we equip craft. Yeah, just two medium slots. So like... We could give you... Depending what we get for weapons soon. We could give you... Uh, probably just one. And like some engines. So you definitely catch stuff. Tier 2 small engines. Eight alloys. That ain't that bad. We'll make... We'll make the one 13 hours and ship it down. Then they've got it. Scanner Asia. Build facilities. God, I'm really leaning toward saving up for the large hyperwave decoder just for the sake of... Uh, range. Mostly. It's it's really it's a really tough decision for me because it's from twenty one hundred to three thousand. This is twenty eight hundred, so just a little bit larger than this, like that gets us. That gets us so good, and it'd be a hundred percent detection. Oh, but four more million bucks. So pretty much next month. And then it'll take like another month to build, I think. Yeah, let's save up. Let's save up and go big. 30 days it takes to make. Alright, I'll work on... The yeah, empty rooms don't really fit very well. I'll work on the empty rooms, though, to speed it up. Jeez. It'll take me like 16 days to get the money together anyway. Can I take out a loan? Ugh, man. So what do I need for that then? 20 more mod. I guess that's the other thing. I need more psionic wave decoders. 125 of them. Feedback devices and computer mods though I think I've got. Computer modules. There's your 30. And then 12 feedback devices. There's that. And then the decoders, though. I'm not 100% sure what turned into those. Ah, okay. Mine probes did. If mine probes did, entertainment is devices. Mm, yellow, green, blue, computer modules, feeder, feedback device. It'd be a neural repository, probably, and neural repositories would be what I'd want. Mm, sectoid, psionic sectoid. Sectoid armor? <sighs> hey, they give power skeletons, at least. Wait, did I ever melt one of you guys down? I'm not sure if I ever did. Put that on the queue. So, the decoders are the big thing, which mine probes. 
mind probes I'd been largely selling. And get 12 per. Claims I only have one here. Oh, I got, I got 10. I got 10, but I need... That'd be 120 more that I can get. That'd be enough, actually. Okay. All right, it's official. We're working on it. Oh, that's crafting. Hold on. Salvaging. Also gets 12. Phew! Okay, cool. Uh... Like eight? So we still have a couple in case we need them. A hundred twenty-five. That was it, right? Hundred and twenty-five. Hundred twenty-five. So now we just need the money. Eight point four million bucks. Ooh. Manufacturer finishing up the psionic dude. Or sorry, armored sectoid. I, they're probably not very psionic, those guys. Actually. And then that has given us power skeleton, but we could already do that. Yeah, that's about it. If floater and reaper corpses we ought to do as well. We'd probably do that. And then as far as new ships go, UFO navigation and fuel pods, I'm thinking, are likely kind of sort of required for that. I don't know if the data canisters are worth doing. I th think that's going to be just lore and not actually unlock anything. I'm a little tempted to take them off that. That's probably our terror ship. Large, very low, heading west. Kinda slowly. Looks like it. That's our terror ship. Heading to Rome. Ooh. Heading to Baghdad. Karachi. Bombay. Where are you going? We'll find out soon. That's the first batch of stuff. And there's the second batch of stuff. So now you've got... 30 mod, 12 feedback. 30 mod, 12 feedback, and the 125. Yeah, we just need money now. And we got the empty rooms being built, so it's hopefully a bit of a speed build. Tier 2 engines small are done, so those can be transferred down south to the intercept base. From you... Bang. And then I'd like to transfer down a new cool weapon from the heavy explosives. I'm assuming that's going to be the big boy alien alloy and maybe some alien explosive tech uh, thing. Big weapon. Throw the five of you into training. Again, not sure if I'm going to be bothering with giving them soldier names. I don't think they're ever going to see action. They're just here so this base has a chance to defend itself if it gets attacked, which I don't think that'll happen either. But since it is going to be shooting things down on maybe a regular basis, it's always good to plan for it. Small, very low heading southwest and also pretty far away. No idea. Patrol? Here you go, Interceptor Tier 2 Engines. Speed! Much speed. Many speed. And there's some more missiles for Africa. 11, which is still totally fine for storage space. They don't use any storage space at all whatsoever? I feel like they should take a little bit of storage space. Like something kind of sort of notable too. Because then that would be a nice upgrade from missiles to laser-based defenses, whereas laser-based defenses don't have things that they shoot out, they just charge. So you don't need to have munitions at the base. 
Because the cost alone... Oh, is that across everywhere? Cool. Ooh, ooh, repositories are, uh... Repositories are pretty heavy. Maybe I should rip them apart. Let's rip apart one of the repositories. Uh, if I can ever find them, what? Rep. Yellow repositories, 25 of them. Base info, storage is 64. They'll be done in four hours. Sixty-four. Okay, it hasn't made a significant impact. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them then. I wasn't hundred percent sure. They're just like little little goodie bags. Oh, oh yeah, workspace. Uh. Sixty. Ha. Ha ha ha. It's more efficient to break those ones down. It was green. Okay, back onto that. I'm glad that didn't take very long. Okay, those are worth breaking down. It's as simple as that. Did we get anything new from those heavy plasma? Plasma rifle. Small alien launcher might be something worth taking a look at since we can soon get the... Checks notes. Alien containment done. <laughs> uh, still unknown on these. Still, after so long. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and research something that might actually get me something worthwhile. Heavy alien explosives we were doing over here, which is also just unknown. I'm gonna cancel it here. Let's work on floater corpses, because I can rip them apart and get some goodies out of them. Turn them into pinatas. This creature's been drastically altered by surgery. The device which seems to form the core of the body is a life support system taking over the function of the heart, lungs, and digestive system. This would enable the creature to survive in extremely hostile environments. The brain is smaller than ours and the sensory organs are well developed. Its eyes seem to be designed to operate in the daytime on a planet would much dimmer than ours. They don't see particularly well at night, but they do see better than we do. We can salvage the intact anti-gravity unit. Right. That makes sense. Reaper time. And, uh... It's not dissection. It was, uh... Um, scavenge! That's the, that's the word. Yeah, anti-graph, sonic feedback, and tro trophies as well. Okay. Just, uh... Not, not too many people are necessary for that. It's already done. Then Raper Corpse ought to be done today. Ah, and the containment. Tremendous. No Raper Corpse, though. Womp. There's the Raper Corpse. Ugh. The Raper contains two brains and two hearts, which allow it to function even when heavily wounded. They're like Krogan. However, its furry skin is highly flammable, making the creature vulnerable to incendiary weapons. It's also vulnerable to explosive weapons due to its large size and lack of strong armor. It's because it's a 2x2 two two unit. <laughs> that, that's, that's truthfully why they're weak to explosives. They're a 2x2 two two unit. They take four times the damage. Its night vision is poorer than some aliens, yet still much better than ours. I love that, that it's like their night vision sucks, but it's still better than us. <sighs> All right, now we can just like pound out maybe a small scout or something, or just to see what these what these do for us. I'm assuming they're lore, but oh yeah, and also manufacture reaper slash reaver. I use it too interchangeably. It's whatever. I don't think I'm allowed in that, and that's done. Cool. So then, sell trophy, trophy, trop. Sell all of those. Three hundred ten thousand. And there's the first two empty rooms. 
Heavy alien explosives. Yeah, that's led to some fun things. Stingray? Shielded electronics? Fly farther and faster. Deliver a larger payload. 15 rounds, 24 second reload time. 105 accuracy. 80 damage, 32 range. And the Torrent. 135 damage, 60 kilometer range, 80% accuracy, faster reload time, 5 rounds. It is just better. Incorporating alien technology in order to travel farther and faster, delivering a larger payload. E. Yeah, so we'll be going for a, uh, like a, like a torrent launcher, I guess. And then, let's see about the fuel pods. Oh, also the alien, not alloys, alien explosives, demolition charge, alien explosives rocket, and base defense alien explosive missiles. Can make those. Would the... Base facilities, the missile defenses... Can you just... Oh no, your alien explosive defense system. Is that so? 450 defense value, though. So there's that. Total defense strength, at least 1,200 to reliably shoot down larger retaliation craft. Mm. Oh, hey, welcome gift. A briefcase sold with money. A few of these were left in our stores by an anonymous benefactor who wishes for the XCOM project to succeed. We could use this money to purchase more supplies or start a new base. Or ignore it because I don't want it. Ugh. Scout report. Oh. Oh, hey, which menu is this? We, we've we been unlocking these things from the uh, autopsies and stuff, I think. Meager sectoids have been wearing protective armor suits, which undoubtedly will enable, enable them a, to much better resist our weapons prior to... Our resistance, nothing on Earth presented significant danger to the sectoids, but after we proved that our weaponry has, was more than capable of destroying them, they have apparently come back with a better defense. They came back pretty fast, but they are just coming from Mars. Spoilers. It goes without saying that we should capture one of these suits for study. We can assume that it is not the last offensive upgrade that the aliens will bring to bear against us. We must continue to upgrade our weapons and armor as quickly as possible in order to stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, Alright, they don't, uh, that doesn't actually give me any, like, and it didn't scroll. Yeah, alright. No proper, proper info, resistances and stuff. Okay. Going excellently, that data canister should be done tonight. Small low heading west. Very slowly. It's landed. I'll send out the Sky Raider. Maybe, maybe grab it when it lifts off. It'll probably, probably escape. Deal. Okay. Two lasers. Easy peasy. Data canister, small scout. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is like the proper info for these. None. Accuracy, none. Refire time, none. Evasion, 50. Tiny craft, primarily used for reconnaissance or research, normally precedes larger vessels at the start of an alien mission. Carries a strong sensor suite, but nothing beyond scouting. Okay, that's what I expected those to be. Okay. UFO navigation, 50 people. Let's try it. And then, uh... Check our everything here, and we can head out for that UFO, probably. Get it done fast. 